Okay, welcome back. Uh, the um, the email has arrived in my email, uh, and it's a response to one of the questions. Uh, you'll see it here, and this is what it looks like in my email, which happens to be a Gmail. You'll notice that this area here is this is the sort of typical area of a Moodle, an email that comes from Moodle, and it's probably very useful to be able to understand some of the things that are in this as standard. For starters, I want to show you these links that are across here, okay, and these links down here. Okay, now this is the short name for the Moodle module subject or course that it came from. That one was a demonstration course, and its short name is demonstration, so that tells me when I see this, oh, that comes from a particular course. Uh, now we're in your email now, uh, and sometimes you can be in your email and you don't have the course open. So you can actually use these links to open a course. So if I click here, say, that pops up in a new window and it brings me to the course which can be very handy. You can go straight from your email. Now, if you weren't logged into Moodle, you would have to log in because we were logged in, that brought us straight there. So let's get rid of that and go back to the email. This means that it's one of the many forums that are in that Moodle module, your course. And this is the particular forum, any questions about the subject. Remember I showed you three forums? Okay, one of them was for students posting questions. That's the name of the forum. If I clicked on that, It'll open up the Moodle module, but it will go straight to that forum, which can be very handy. Okay. Okay, and now this one here is the title of the discussion thread. Now, a discussion thread is where somebody poses a question or comment in a discussion forum, and people reply to that. So there's a, there may be several submissions under that. So let's click on that and see where that brings us. Okay. Okay, that brings us into Moodle module, into the forum, and then into the discussion thread. So there was the first one, and here were some responses down here. Response from Joan Morrison, a response from Brian Mulligan, and another response from Brian Mulligan, the identical one, just to make sure it worked. So that's a very handy one because you can go in there. Let me just show you that again. Let's go back to where we were. You're in your email. You're looking at your email. You say, I want to respond to that so I can go. Well, you might say, nope, not in the crafter's basket. What was the original question again? And if you go to the question or go to the actual posting here, heading, you can go straight to it. But you might say to yourself, by the way, another way to do that is show parent. Let's try that one. And that shows it plus the responses. So that has the same effect. Okay. Okay, but what you want to want to do is you might want to reply. And remember, one of the purposes of forums in Moodle is so that you can reply to everybody. If a question comes in from a student, you can reply and the whole class can see it. So you really should be replying inside Moodle. Okay, don't be contacting them by email. So we would click on reply there and that opens there. It's got re, the original heading, and you can type a reply there. Okay. So okay, a mistake there. Okay, and then we can post that response. We mail it now if we don't think we've made a mistake. But as I say, it's probably advisable not to just post it to the forum and it'll go out in a half an hour. Okay, and that's response made. And get, how did we do that again? Let's just go back to the email. What we did is we clicked on reply. And rather than reply in our email, it brought us into Moodle. Sometimes we have to log on when we bring this into Moodle, but we're already logged in. So it brought us into Moodle, found that discussion question, and opened up a box for you to reply in. So it's very convenient. Okay, and uh, was there, oh yes, one last thing here. Now, this is in our email here. This is email package, it's, it's Gmail. So in your email package, you generally have a function in your email package for replying. 
So if you wanted to reply just to the individual person, okay, you could just use your own reply link. This is the reply link in Gmail, so I could use that, click on that, and it would reply. Now, I happen to have this set, set so it doesn't reply. I have the email address set to no reply, but normally you would be able to reply to a student directly. So you could use your own email package to reply privately to the student if you didn't want to reply to the whole class. Okay, and that's it. That's all I've got to say on communicating inside Moodle.